Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm in my car this morning, fresh faced as well with a zero makeup on because I'm actually heading to a facial. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. It's at a place called Elan Laser Clinics in Hell Barnes. So um, I'm up right early this morning heading over to do that and then I might pop into town and maybe check out Primark. So I thought I'd bring you guys with me for the day just see where the day takes us. I might have a cosy afternoon at home. I've got some autumn planning I want to do and yeah basically you guys are spending the day with me so make sure you're set and ready with a nice cosy drink. I will just firstly mention this video is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh and I have a parcel on order. It is arriving today so we're going to cook some dinner together. I do have a discount code with them. I'll leave it below but it gets you 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three with three free gifts as well. As for now I've just picked up a Starbucks, grabbed a drink because um, I'm a little bit early. I'm always very early for my appointments that's just the kind of person I am sipping on a coffee I've just gone for an Americano this morning because I'm not gonna lie I have had one too many pumpkin spice lattes already this season I am getting today a power of three facial it's called here we go the Elan power I don't have them saying that Elan Elan um power three facial one of their signature facials power three works to reduce active acne inflammation and redness using a carbon peel to reduce the signs of aging improve skin texture and deeply exfoliating pores the result is a radiant smoother and brighter complexion so we will see this is me going in fresh face so i'm going to sip on my coffee and i'll see you guys when i get in there So these are your deeper layers. You've got a few little uh, little pigments there. Mm -hmm. A little bit more sensitivity around the nose, usually is with a lot of people. Um, the only thing I'll say is a little bit darker around the forehead. This is where your pigment might start to form. So this is your UV light. So this shows your colour spots. You've got chalasma and melasma. So after my facial I popped into Primark, they had some great basics, a couple of knit sweatshirts, this was like a cropped version which I've not seen before which was really nice, loved this kind of corduroy bag as well. I was definitely on the hunt for kind of basic knits, jumpers, these jeans were lovely but I do have some very similar already and all the tonal kind of mixes I was keeping my eyes peeled for, they had lots of coats in as well already and then as always with the Primark I like to head down to the men's and then back up to the women's so I go through every single floor to really just make sure that I've covered all bases loads of good basic thermal layers tights the skims dupes that they have I also had a quick look at the shoe section for lots of different chunky boots that they've got and Ugg dupes and of course they've got the cozy slippers I really loved this green pack I will say as well, Christmas has very much entered Primark with lots of reed diffusers, candles, bedding, cookie cutters, lots of different things, which if you're wanting to start shopping early for Christmas, then definitely head down to Primark soon before all of the good stuff goes. Time because look what has just arrived. Ugh. My Hello Fresh box. So I'm just going to briefly show you uh, the recipes that I've chosen this week. If you're completely new to Hello Fresh and have never used it before and always considered it, now's the time to try it out, especially with that discount code that I have that gets you 50% off that first box 
35% off your next three boxes with three free gifts as well and it's cancel any time if you decide it's not for you or you can pause it say you're going away you have a busier lifestyle and you might not be home that week then you can just pause it um, whenever it's convenient for you really so I always get it for I get three recipes a week for two people but if you've got a family you can order for more you can order more than three meals a week for us that's our best kind of solution it just helps avoid any waste You've got the detailed instructions per recipe. And what you do is essentially you can log on to like the online portal and choose from a big selection of recipes that they have. Every single week on rotation, they have some good old favorites. They have some new recipes added on. So that's honestly one of my favorite things to do when they upload the new recipes to just go through and have a look through them all. I've got a free gift. Why do you see this? Oh my gosh, look, Tony's chocolate. I love Tony's chocolate. That one is the just the standard milk chocolate. Just an example to show you how everything is perfectly portioned. I've got two bags here numbered six and eleven, and they are for the corresponding recipe cards six and eleven. So they have loads of different ranges. If you can see these tabs here from family favorites to these ones, which are my favorite, the rapid recipes. And they do street food as well, which I've got one of this week, which can I say, sounds so perfect for autumn. It's the bacon wrapped curry burst sausages in buns with caramelized onion chips and um, mustard dressing slaw, which just sounds so wholesome. I think, however, today i think i'm going to do the speedy sausage one which is a breakdown of all of the nutritional value as well which i love allergens if that's relevant for you it even says what cooking tools you'll need so this is like the perfect solution to a busy family to someone like us who are the most indecisive couple when it comes to making decisions on meals and it also suits someone like me who's not necessarily a handy chef in the kitchen you all know tom loves cooking me? Not so much. I think HelloFresh taught me to do a white sauce. I've never cooked a white sauce in my life before. Now I know how to do white sauce. Yeah, because if ever there's like a mac and cheese option or anything like that, I'm selecting that one every single time. So I've changed my mind again. <laughs> Told you I was indecisive. Decided to go with the Herbie Lemon and Prawn Linguini. So these are all the ingredients laid out and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Lunch was absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna put on a wash load and then I've got to go and pick up um, Barney from daycare today. But it's not for like another hour or so, so I thought I would just slip and fall into Home Sense because I don't know, I'm just feeling a browse. I'm feeling a little look around. I am actually going to a um, new store opening which will be probably in one of my next vlogs because i'm actually going to vlog on thursday um i'm so excited it's in Altrincham, so i'm going to go there for the opening which will already have happened by now so if you're local to Altrincham, make sure to check it out because i'm sure with it being a brand new home sense it's going to be a good one. Oh god they've got um a few bits that i've actually seen on the website on tk maxx website but i'm just that person that kind of feels like a failure if i end up buying something from tk maxx online because i just feel like it's one of those places that i like to see it as a treasure hunt so if i'm buying online i feel like it doesn't count so let's go have a browse fyi this is no longer Neptune at Rosemary in Time. It is Lenore's Gold Orchid, I think. Just because I like to have it. 
I like to have them on display all matchy matchy although i have to say it did smell amazing i might be tempted to go and get another one i wish they did refills well, maybe they do actually, I don't know. Also been packing up a little bit the kitchen just with things like bits and bobs that aren't necessarily essentials because I feel like to keep this kitchen minimal and literally just have a few essentials. I'm talking a couple of plates, a couple of bowls, knives, forks, that kind of thing so that when they knock through, I just think it'd be a lot easier to have a bit of a kickstart with packing up the kitchen. We said we were the good ones mm -hmm. Like an 18 minute thriller movie mm -hmm. I always knew you always meant it But now we're standing on the best side too Forgot I had the Primark bags in the back. Still. Oops. Did you have a good day with your friends? Or your fur friends? So it is the next day, as you can tell, as soon as I've got hair and makeup done. Um, I've just been filming for the Primark haul, sneak peek into what's to come. Um, that's gonna be my next video. So yeah, by the time I got back last night, um, from picking up Barney from daycare, I ended up needing to bath him. I was working with, well, I was just doing some editing and stuff for a brand that I needed to get sent over last night. So I ended up working till like, well, till about nine o'clock last night. Um, let me just turn this down. So I thought I would just put the camera away, pick it back up again tomorrow and show you the odd bits that I did pick up from HomeSense. Or do I save? No, I can't save that. In fact, I'll just sit down here and share it with you. Oh, I got this from Amazon recently. This just arrived at home. Brand new book. Should we open it together? Because I buy so many books like this from Amazon. I get recommended quite often, like on my homepage. So sucked into it and then I end up buying them. Let me get some scissors. It's quite good as well because it's uh, a dark cover. It's quite, you know, I've got quite a lot of like linen or light colored coffee table books, but to then have a bit of a mix of some dark in there as well, I think is always good. So it's from, who's done this? Brian Paquette, photographs by Harris Kenjar. So it's called At Home, Evocative and Art Forward Interiors, which, as a title, Art Forward Interiors Evocative. Doesn't really sound like something I would enjoy. However, I love the cover. So if the cover has that image, yeah. See, that is not how I would imagine the inside would be from that title, but this is very much my kind of, my kind of book. So again, loads more inspo, particularly like interiors books at the minute with renovating just to get all the more inspiration. Look at that dining table nice is that so yes i will leave a link to this along with my amazon storefront down below if you wanted to check it out or anything else that i've mentioned from amazon that's thomas messaging me fancy this one weekend he sent me a link to a digital detox cabin unplugged weekend i will show you the bits that i did pick up from um home search yesterday in fact first one you actually stood on so let me show you this once i remember a zara home rediffuser this is the jasmine tea fragrance, which probably wouldn't be my preferred choice, but that was the only one they had. And the fact that it was Zara Home one, I've had Zara Home rediffused in the past and they've actually been some of the strongest rediffusers I've had. So retails for 14 pounds, but in TK Maxx are only 5.99. This is what the actual container looks like. And you just take off the lid, pop that on the top. And then the reeds are black as well. So it's very minimal and understated. I can already smell it. It smells lovely. 
so yeah that's the first purchase i got i did pick up a gift bag i need to pop to the white company we've got some friends that have had a baby that i want to buy them a little gift for but i had to pick up this bag when i saw it because it is just adorable safari themed two pound 49 for that bag and then um and the little tag just says welcome baby and then i saw these and i honestly can't believe i've not spotted these before so there were quite a few of them as well so it's not like it's a one-off thing they had quite a lot and it's this crockery set so they had a few different items i picked up the pie dish and the loaf dish because i feel like I love a banana loaf or we could do like a pumpkin loaf or something in this. Then this pie dish for, I want to say pumpkin pie, but I'm probably not going to make pumpkin pie because for one, I probably won't like it. Well, I probably will like it to be fair, but just pumpkin pie, maybe a crumble or even just as a little decorative display dish. But $8.99 for the pie dish and $7.99 for the loaf dish. I'll definitely get um, these out every year time and time again I feel like they'll be a good staple in my seasonal decor collection for this time of the year I have had some PR bits arrive I don't know whether to show you guys in this vlog or not because I feel like it's quite haul based I might as well show you one's just arrived downstairs one sec this is a fave of mine oh I can't wait to get into this from this works if you've ever tried their pillow spray before you'll know how amazing it smells. I like their body moisturizer as well. I think it's called Body Cocoon. Ooh, how exciting. They do. Um, they did send me the pillow spray that I talked about. Love that. The Overnight Cleanser. Deep Sleep Overnight Face Cream. And then this is the Body Cream. What's it called? Body Whip. Deep Sleep Body Whip. So I'm excited to try that one considering I love the Body Cocoon one that they do body moisturizer and then i've got the glossy box for the month so spoiler alert if you're a glossy box customer a little eyeshadow a brow soap lash serum oh i love rituals this is the energize your soul nourishing shampoo and then from balance me radiance Girl. what's this ah a little non-alcoholic g and t this i was very excited to receive i think i opened this on instagram but i've never owned anything from joe loves before so thank you so so much to them they very kindly sent the pomelo range in the fragrance perfume and then also the um bath and shower gel and body lotion how nice is that it's a real fruity how do you describe this like a grapefruity kind of scent it's it's honestly lovely though it smells a luxury i will say that tata harper they have very kindly sent me some bits how nice is that packaging i'm gonna reuse that tissue paper it's lovely they have sent the nourishing oil cleanser illuminating moisturizer i've been wanting to try that so i'm excited that i've got that and then an illuminating eye cream, which she did say yesterday in my facial that I could benefit from using an eye cream because I'm just, yeah. Eye cream is one step that I tend to forget. And then the hydrating floral mask. So for this afternoon, I had a bit of an idea to do some kind of autumn bucket list because now that we are in autumn, it's one of those things that I don't want autumn to come and go in a flash seeing as though it's my favorite time of the year and i've not done things that i want to include this year so just a fun little kind of traditional type things seen lots of pinterest lists inspiration online stuff like this so i'm gonna get a pen and paper make myself a nice coffee and yeah i feel like we'll do that and then i've got some monthly favorites to show you as well with
my autumn bucket list. I'm not gonna lie, I found that really easy and I feel like there's so many more things I can add to this list. And yeah, I thought I would share with you some of my ideas. So let's start with the first one, go foraging. In fact, some of these I have already done. So go foraging for either conkers, blackberries, leaves. I did some autumn DIYs in a previous video recently. So I did some foraging of leaves. Um, we've also already foraged blackberries when they were fresh. And I was very tempted to bake some kind of an apple blackberry crumble. However, I feel like this season has pretty much passed with blackberries now. So I've missed out on that opportunity with our freshly picked blackberries. We ended up just eating them. Barney really likes them as well. So he had a few. Um, and then, yeah, so maybe next season I will do that ahead of the game. Make sure I get there in time. Conkers as well. Even Tom picked up a couple of conkers yesterday and brought them back. Did, did anyone else used to do conker fights? Visit a pumpkin patch. This is one thing that we didn't end up doing last year. So I feel like I'm all the more keen to visit a pumpkin patch, pick some pumpkins this year. Watch a horror movie. I will say we've watched a series recently called Dharma, which is a, a, all about Jeffrey Dharma. And I have to say that was pretty horrific. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a horror movie. But if you like the kind of true crime stuff, Definitely recommend watching that. It is quite full on though. It's quite intense. So if you're not into the goriness, and it is sad as well, but it is well worth watch. We really enjoyed watching that. Do some autumn baking. Visit a farmer's market. We have been to a farm shop already at the very start of the season, but we, um, in fact, Tom's been back by himself since then. He's just a fan of a farm shop. So we'll do more of that, I'm sure. Make a simmer pot. So I've seen this is quite big in America to make some kind of a simmer pot whereby you sit it on your hob and you boil some water, fill it with spices and fresh fruits and things like that to make it smell amazing. And um, it just fills the house with a beautiful scent along with, obviously depending on what you put in it, you can actually drink it as well. So I think I'm gonna do one of those maybe in my next video. Um, a cozy pub lunch by an open fire is just the most wholesome thing to do ever. Roast chestnuts and pumpkin seeds. Roasting chestnuts. I don't think I have ever had roasted chestnuts before. Again, it was something Tom and I were talking about recently. Always hear about roasted chestnuts on an open fire. But I don't think I've ever had, like, eaten roast chestnuts before. A hike in the woods, which is definitely going to happen because we quite often love a woodland hike, especially with Barney. There's one not too far from us near Marple. It's called Ethero Park, I think. If you're local to the area, I would recommend checking that out when the seasons change and the leaves start falling. It's so pretty because it's quite a built up woodland area. So I'm, I'm thinking even this weekend, we might go ahead and do that. Read an autumn poem or an autumn book of some kind. Cozy up by a bonfire, especially for bonfire night. I do love bonfire night. And eat a toffee apple, which again is another reminiscent thing for me in my childhood. And then last but not least, I've popped on this list, go for a moonlight stroll. And I just feel like that is I don't know, just quite wholesome. I'm gonna make a conscious effort to go for a nice, long, moonlit stroll with Tom one evening. And especially in the lead up to Christmas, I love doing this, because you can see in everybody's houses all the different Christmas lights they've got in their windows. But that is my autumn bucket list. What is on your bucket list? Is there anything that you think I have missed out that you think I should add? I feel like read an autumn poem. Let's find one now, shall we? Okay, here we go. I've got one, Autumn Fires. This it's called it was written in 1885 by Robert Louis Stevenson in the other gardens and all up the vale from the autumn bonfire see the smoke trail pleasant summer over and all the summer flowers the red fire blazes the gray smoke towers sing a song of seasons something bright in all flowers in the summer fires in the fall love that so anyway let's head on upstairs I'm going to share with you some monthly favorites I've still got some coffee left actually so I'm going to bring this with me. Okay, I feel like I've got together a few faves ready to share with you. Um, where to begin, that is the question. Okay, as soon as I've got coffee in my hand, let's start with this, which this is actually the second one that I picked up. I finished the first and I was like, I must include it in a monthly favorites. And so I had to go and pick up another one. So this I picked up from Asda, this drink. It's pumpkin spice flavored Califia Farms. 
I think it's called this brand and they do a cold brew coffee it's almond plant-based drink but the pumpkin spice flavor is delicious so I had to include one of those and then Speaking of drinks, the Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer has been back in action. We've been making some cozy hot chocolates in, in the evening, kind of as a dessert to be honest with you, especially midweek where we try not to have loads and loads of chocolate. To have a nice cozy hot chocolate for a dessert kicks the sweet cra craving and it's not too horrendous. You know, we're not demolishing a chocolate bar this size in one night. So. I got this flavour which I wanted to share with you, very cosy and wholesome, maple and pecan. They also, I've seen online they do peanut butter, so I really want to go and get the peanut butter flavour and try, try that one out as well. I feel like that with a Reese's Pieces little treat would be delightful. Um, what else shall I share with you? I'll share with you some beauty bits. A fragrance that I have been using a lot this month as it's getting a bit cooler is a, it's a bit more intense this one because it's one of the Jo Malone colognes that they do. The black bottle ones basically are a lot stronger. Cologne intense, bronze wood and leather and this is just so warm and rich and manly i mean obviously all of jo malone's fragrances are unisex anyway but this one in particular i feel like would be a great gift for um for him or if you like me if you're buying for someone whereby they like the men's colognes scents this is just so rich and intense and warm i have been loving that new product into my makeup bag has been this this is the Schwarzkopf got to be brow gel that they've recently brought out. I know a lot of people went crazy for the got to be hair gel and using it as a brow gel, which obviously if you were to buy that, you'd probably get a lot more for your money because it's a lot bigger. Pretty sure it's the same formula that they've included within a handy on the go comes with the brush etc etc it is like glue like your eyebrows i'm not gonna lie they do give like they don't budge which is i guess what its intended purpose is but they are quite stiff like a gel would be um but yeah it really does work that and then um, and it's so affordable as well i got this one off i think yeah i got this one off amazon so again i'll leave that one linked below i think it was a couple of pounds so cheap and then another product that this isn't um a new favorite i'm gonna say this is a rediscovery clarence recently sent me a couple of products and this one is one that i used to use all the time it's the beauty flash balm great as a primer you can also instead of just using it as a primer you can apply it quite thick and leave it on for 10 minutes wipe it off with a cotton pad and it acts as a really hydrating mask it doesn't sort of dry and tighten either it just you just wipe it off with a cotton bud um, and it's lovely. And then a couple of fashion favourites. I was going to mention lounge socks. However, the only clean pair that I have, I have on. So I'll also leave those linked but along with these because Girl of Muse, they've got a three pack set which they sent me and I've been loving them. They're very, very similar. This is the sand coloured one. Speaking of girl of muse the candle that they brought out i mean you can see how much i've loved it already the hello autumn one this when i first saw it i was like oh i don't know white pumpkin because i'm not a fan of sickly scents however it it is lovely it's it's not sweet and sickly at all it's got the spicy clove vanilla and also orange it's quite citrusy it's fresh it's perfect for autumn so yeah as you can tell i've absolutely loved that i've burnt through that far too quickly i've just had it on the whole time i've loved it so yeah i have to mention that and then speaking of candles i did also want to mention the candle collection who very kindly sent me a little pr package which included this gorgeous white ceramic pumpkin with a little airtight lid um and then also on oh, they even include a little pumpkin dish but it's the wax melts that i wanted to mention because they sent me several scents they sent me pumpkin spice fireside and apple pie but i have already used the sweater weather ones and it is so lovely in fact which one i'm gonna open the fireside one so i want to burn this one next and i want to show you what they look like because they are just adorable they're little pumpkin wax melts how cute is that 
Oh, that's good. This is the fireside one. So firstly, thanks to them. But yeah, definitely check out the sweater weather scent. I loved burning that one. And then a couple more fashion items that I want to mention. As it is hoodie season, I'm absolutely gutted. I was going to show you my Nina Bing hoodie that I've been living in. Wore it to the Indian the other night. Put my elbows on the table. Got curry all up the sleeve. And I've washed it a couple of times. I've tried this stain bar from Astonish. I cannot get it out. So if you know how to get out that yellowy curry stain please let me know because i need to save that hoodie it's like my favorite favorite hoodie and i feel like i've destroyed it but anyway this is another one that i picked up from amazon it's from wrangler i love that font by the way just a plain and simple black hoodie but it just fits really well and it is black but it's kind of like a charcoal washed black it was from the men's section as well i will say that and i got it in an extra large this is a nice oversized hoodie it's the sort of thing that an oversized hoodie when it's cold in the house or whether you're on a walk when you just want to be warm a hoodie is just so i think it's the fact that the hoodie if you can put the hood up it just feels like you're in your own little cocoon so i had to mention that again i'll leave that one linked below and put it on my storefront and then last but not least is this gilet which i picked up from h&m i did get it in both um the I'm going to say black, but again, that's more of like a charcoal. And the nude, I've not worn the nude one yet, but it was, I got them both in a medium. I think they were £29. So yeah, I need to wear the nude one, but I've been wearing this one so much. Because again, just to have that like almost body warm up, just, just love it. Love, love, love. So that is everything that I've been loving this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys are as excited as I am for October. It is one of my faves. It's my dad and brother's birthday this month. Got lots of work things coming up. So yeah, it's just a good month. I just really, really love October. I would have loved having an October birthday. But anyway, I'm a January baby. Any of you October babies, I'm very, very jealous. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my discount code, which will get you 50% off your first box, 35% off your next three boxes with three free gifts as well. So I'll leave that code linked below along with a direct link so that you can shop and try it out today if you haven't already. Now is your time to do so with that code. So yeah, thanks to them. Thanks to you guys for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.